Hi, it's Gordon at Averlight, and I'm going to take you through recording and using a scene master. Scene masters are great fun tools of being able to make a lot of changes very quickly and very smoothly in your show file. I'm going to get rid of my grandmaster that I have here just to demonstrate to you. If I tap record on soft key E, I've got create master and on soft key F, I've got a scene master. You can see at the top of the screen, it says choose location for the scene master. I'm going to put it just on this playback here for now. Hold down AVO and tap exit and that's going to get you right back to your normal program menu. Now there's two ways a scene master works. The first is in live mode. This is where you have full live use of your console. If I grab some lights and tell them what to do, they're going to do exactly that thing. Now if I tap the blue swap button of a scene master, it will go into preset mode. This means that I can bring down playbacks and I can change what lights are doing. And that information is not going to come out of my console, but is going to be visible in the internal visualizer. As soon as I bring this playback from the bottom to the top, that's then going to make these changes happen. You can see now on these spots, that, pl that palette has gone from being purple, so loaded into the scene master, to light blue, which is when it's selected. If I now move some more playbacks and tell some lights to do something different, you can see all of these changes are going to be highlighted in purple. This means that they're loaded into the scene master ready to go. As soon as I move that scene master from the top to the bottom, that's going to perform the next set of changes. You can see, even if I use my programmer, that change is loaded into the scene master as well. What's cool with the scene master is I can specify a time just as we can with live palettes. If I say three and then tap the gray flash button, then over the course of three seconds, this scene master is going to make those changes. Playback options and tap a scene master as well. And we've got a number of options that we can use. By default, scene masters are unlocked on handle paging. This means that they'll only be visible on the page that you've recorded them onto. If I toggle that twice, you can see handle paging is now locked. This is going to mean that on every single page on playback number 10 is going to be my scene master. If you're thinking of building a look on the fly, then applying 5, 10, 15 palettes and 3 playbacks, that's your hands moving very quickly and potentially not a clean show. If I grab those lights and put them in that palette and that position, I then grab those and tell them to do that. This is a lot of changes that I'd have to make. Using a scene master, I can bring that playback up to full and it's going to make those changes in a nice smooth way. As soon as you want live access to your console again, tap the blue swap button. That's going to change the scene master from being in preset mode to being in live mode. So I can use my console as normal now. You can see none of the changes that I'm making are turning purple. They're all coming straight out of my console directly. It also gives another use for the internal capture visualizer because you can preview looks as you're building them using the scene master. And when you're ready, you can fade them out of your console. Have a play and see how you get on with this cool feature. Thanks for watching and tune into the next one.